Good morning. My name is Kara Kanak, and I am the Marketing and Communications Coordinator with Severs and Streggy, and we are doing another edition of Meet Your Severs and Streggy Team. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Cameron Peach. He is one of the newest um, hires at Severs and Streggy. Cameron, when did you start? I started uh, middle of June, right after I graduated from college. So, yeah. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your position and what you do. At Severs and Streggy. Yeah, so I am uh, one of two uh, client service associates, and I guess the best way to describe my role would be that you know I assist the planners in whatever way possible. Um, but to be a little bit more specific, I'm usually you know putting together the goal tracker, investment reviews, and APS reports for client meetings. Um, I update a lot of client data in our uh, planning systems. I mean, I do a lot of various forms of paperwork for clients um, to open new accounts, transfer funds, or whatever is necessary to help the planner come through for the client. Um, I also communicate with TD Ameritrade daily just to make sure the paperwork uh, is being processed in a timely manner, which requires a lot of collaboration between the planner and I. So, you mm -hmm. know, like I said, my job is kind of just summed up as, you know, assisting planners in order uh, to provide the best service for clients. So whatever I can do to help, I'm glad to do it. All right. So you're the one behind the scenes making sure that everything gets done, all the T's gets crossed and the dice, I's get dotted. Exactly. Yep. Nailed it. Okay. So you had mentioned that you started mid-June just after graduation. Tell me a little bit about um, where you went to school. Yep. So I went to the University of Iowa and uh, majored in finance and minor in communications. So Okay. Um, but a lifelong Hawkeye fan, so I think that was my plan all along, and it all worked out, I think, so. Okay, well, there you go, and hey, like, you are one of the few people who actually graduates and gets a job uh, mm -hmm. in the field that they have their degree in, so good job. <laughs> okay, and tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, family, pets, all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, so I grew up in Des Moines my whole life. Um, my family consists of just my mom, dad, and then I have a twin brother, actually. So that's a little bit of a fun fact. Um, and I have two cats um, that I sort of grew up with. Uh, one's a little bit older named Skippy, and she's uh, a little <laughs> weird. She's uh, cross-eyed, just everything's a little bit off about her, I think, ever since we got her. And so it's been kind of funny. And then the other one's named Sebastian, and we've had her for, I don't know, six or seven years. And she just loves to go outside and it's outside all day, every every day. So she's a little bit nor more normal, but still a little bit weird in that she just spends all day outside. So, right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. T let's let's circle back to this whole twin. You're a twin thing. Tell me, mm -hmm. what's your uh, twin brother's name? Uh, Carter. Okay. So Carter and Cameron. Did you? Okay. Are you fraternal twins or identical twins? Um. We've never known for sure. Never really like, actually did the the test, but. I I think we're pretty positive that we're identical. We were pretty, we looked pretty much alike for probably the first like 10 or 15 years, kind of look a little bit different. Now he wears glasses and there's other differences, but for the most part, we look pretty identical growing up. So. Okay. So does, did you do, did you play tricks on family members or teachers growing up then? In sixth grade, we actually did uh, switch classes and it worked for about a couple hours, but then some of our friends caught on and the word, word kind of spread. So it worked for a couple hours, but it was still fun just to see the reaction. So yeah, we tried it. <laughs> okay. And did did Carter go to you, uh, Iowa too? Yep. We both went to Iowa, but he actually is uh, going to chiropractic school now. So he took a little bit of a different route, but we both majored in finance. He just ended up wanting to go the extra few years in college so there you go yep. yeah it's it's good to have that connection and bonding but it's also good to be your own person and pursue your own interests yep so. absolutely yep all right okay so to end our little lightning round of questions where is your most favorite place that you have ever traveled so i'd pick two places i'd pick uh hawaii or colorado just depending on if I'm wanting to relax and be in warm weather, I definitely wanted to, you know, go go to Hawaii. Hawaii, my family's gone a couple of times, and mm -hmm. both times are just super awesome, um, super relaxing. Um, probably one of my favorite places to ever just hang out and stuff. But other one would be Breckenridge, Colorado. I've gone there both in the winter and the summer, and both times are just super fun. Um, either go hiking or mountain biking in the summer, or go snowboarding in the winter. Um, I love both. Um, it's more adventurous, more exciting. So 
whichever one I'm feeling more, I'd rather uh, be at. So Hawaii, relax, yeah, Colorado, be more adventurous. So no, those are excellent choices. I totally agree with uh-huh. both of those. Do you have any uh, um, upcoming trips planned? I'm going to Arizona in a few months, um, just for a little vacation. So that'll be fun. Um, nothing super crazy planned. I think we're going to go on a family vacation at some point next year, whenever my brother gets a break from chiropractic school. So we'll see what, what happens there, but hopefully it's one of those two places. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Cameron. And I hope everybody enjoyed getting to know, um, your new Severson Sergei employee. Thank you.